In this video, we will be discussing about trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve and is the largest cranial nerve. So, we will have a discussion about the sensory divisions of the trigeminal nerve, the sensory pathway of the trigeminal nerve, the sensory nuclei of the trigeminal nerve, the motor supply of the trigeminal nerve, and at last, we will discuss about the branches of the trigeminal nerve. Let's discuss the sensory supply of the face first. So, we will draw the diagram. Well, we know that the face is supplied by the three divisions of the trigeminal nerve. So, the three sensory divisions of the trigeminal nerve will carry the sensations from the face. These three divisions are ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular. So this is the region which is supplied by the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. So this is the ophthalmic division. And the region which is supplied by the maxillary division is this. This is the area of the face which is supplied by the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. So sensations from this area will be ca carried by the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. It's the maxillary division. The last. Sensation from this area is carried by the mandibular nerve. It's carried by Antipolar division. Of the trigeminal nerve. So these are the sensory divisions of uh, sensory divisions of the trigeminal nerve which are carrying the sensations from the face. So now we look how the pathway goes. Let's draw the cranial fossae. So the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve consists of three branches that is frontal, lacrimal and nasociliary. So these branches pass like here and the maxillary division is passing like this. And the mandibular division is 
something like this. So all the three divisions of the trigeminal nerves carry sensation to the trigeminal ganglion. Sensations are carried to the trigeminal ganglion which is located here. So this is the trigeminal ganglion. So this one was the ophthalmic nerve which is leaving the renal fossa through the superior orbital fissure. So this one was the superior orbital fissure. And this nerve is the maxillary nerve. And this foramen is the maxillary nerve is leaving the cranial fossa into the veins through the foramen rodentum. Foramen rodentum. And this is the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve, which is leaving the mediterranean fossa through a foramen known as the foramen ovate. And this nerve is the mandibular nerve. So, all this three nerves that is ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular are carrying sensations and this fibers will relay on the sensory ganglion of the trigeminal nerve which is known as this is the trigeminal ganglion so trigeminal ganglion look at the shape of the ganglion you can see that it is semi lunar in shape with a convex side which is facing anterolaterally and a concave posteromedial side. So it is also known as semilunar ganglion. And a few words about the trigeminal ganglion. So this is a sensory ganglion of the trigeminal nerve. So look at the shape, it is semi-lunar in shape with the convex side facing androlatally and the concave side which is facing medial. And the location is at the, this is the petrous part of temporal bone. At the apex of the petrous part of temporal bone, this is located in a pouch which is formed by the dura. That is pouch formed by the extension of the tendril and that pouch is known as Pouch which is formed by the dura. So that pouch is known as Meckel's curve, located at Petrus apex. In the dural pouch, which is formed by the extension of the tentorium, that dural pouch is known as. Meckel's cave or carom trigeminate. So, when you look into the trigeminal ganglion, you can see that it is actually a confluence of cell bodies. Cell bodies. Are located here. So these are the cell bodies of pseudo unipolar neurons and this pseudo unipolar neurons has got peripheral processes like this and it has got central processes like this. So the central process of the trigeminal ganglion that is central process of the unipolar neurons converge to form the sensory 
root this is sensory root this is pseudo unipolar neurons and this is the peripheral processes of the pseudo unipolar neuron so these peripheral processes of the pseudo unipolar neurons of the trigeminal ganglion is forming the sensory divisions of the trigeminal nerve which are known as the ophthalmic branch ophthalmic division maxillary and mandibular divisions so from the trigeminal ganglion what arises the sensory root arises which is actually the central process central process of the pseudo unipolar neurons of the trigeminal ganglion this is known as sensory root and the sensory root relies on the on on where the nuclei of sensory nuclei of the trigeminal nerve is located relies on the sensory nucleus of the trigeminal nerve so the pathway is like this sensations are carried out by the three divisions of the trigeminal nerve from the face these three divisions are ophthalmic maxillary mandibular divisions sensations relay in the first order neuron which is the pseudo unipolar neurons in the trigeminal ganglion from the trigeminal ganglion the sensations carried on to the sensory root from the sensory root it reaches the nucleus, sensory nucleus, which is located on the upper part of the bones. So, we will discuss about the nuclei now. So, this is the bones. This is medulla. And then we are reaching the spinal cord. The spinal cord, this is the bones. So, the nuclei of the trigeminal nerve consists of three sensory nuclei and a single motor nucleus. So the three sensory nuclei are located here. Yeah. So there is a chief sensory nucleus or the principal sensory nucleus. This is the chief sensory nucleus or the principal sensory nucleus which is located on the upper part of the bones. Chief sensory nucleus or principal sensory nuclei. So this is receiving fibers of fine touch and pressure. That is fibers carrying fine touch and pressure from the face. And the next nucleus is the mesencephalic nucleus which is located in the Midbrain, mesencephalic nucleus. So this nucleus receives sensations like proprioception. Proprioception is carried on to this nucleus. Proprioception from the temporomandibular joint and from the muscles of mastication.
of your section is received by this nucleus. And there is another nucleus which is known as the mesenchymal, sorry, uh, the spinal nucleus. The spinal nucleus is starting from the chief sensory nucleus. It extends downwards through the pons, downwards through the medulla and till the substantia gelatinosa cells of the second cervical segment of the spinal cord. So this is this nucleus is called the spinal nucleus. The spinal nucleus extends from the chief sensory nucleus to the substantia gelatinosa cells or second cervical segment of spinal cord. C2 segment of spinal cord. So that's about the pathway. So and uh, there is a motor nucleus which is situated medial to the principal sensory nucleus. So motor nucleus, from the motor nucleus the motor root arises. Actually this motor root uh, supply the muscles of mastication and uh, some other muscles through the mandibular division. Actually it converges with the mandibular division. So the ophthalmic and maxillary divisions are purely sensory while the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve also carries the motor root of the trigeminal nerve. So the mandibular division is mixed that is sensory and motor because it carries the sensory fibers and the motor fibers. So that's all about the sensory pathway of the trigeminal nerve. In the sec second section of this video, we will be discussing the branches of each division of the trigeminal nerve. So, that's all about the sensory pathway. In the next video, we will be discussing about the branches of each division of the trigeminal nerve. Thank you for watching this video. To see more videos from our channel, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.